Hi guys, we are living in exponential time. Everything around us is running so fast. Do you know that? Yeah, and in this room, do you use Facebook or Google every day? Please raise your hands. Yeah, so by the statistics, the number of Google search in 2006, that is 2 point billion. But the number right now is very big, 31 billion. It's like an ant and elephant, right? Yeah, the year it took to reach the target audience of 15 million of radios, it took 38 years. TV is 13 years. Internet is 4 years. iPod is 3 years. And the biggest social network, Facebook, is just 2 years. Maybe your father, your mother, or grandmother knows Facebook and you does. It's very changed the time. The more things were invented, the shorter time it gets to achieve the targets. I don't know how the other fields of study, but in my field, technical field, it changed a lot. The number of technical knowledge is doubling every two years. That means for a student who's starting a course for a year, a half of what they learned in the first year will be outdated in the third year. Yeah, and so the social that we are living in very fast, and we are constantly bombarded with new innovation and ideas. Understand the importance of technology. A new president of Americans, Donald Trump. Yeah, in this room, everyone know him? Donald Trump has already invited on CEOs of Silicon Valley to come to hit Trump Tower to discuss about the future. So the most wanted and excited technology today is AI, artificial intelligence. Maybe in this room there's someone know what is artificial intelligence. There's someone not. So AI is a number of technology deal with the challenge that use the data to make a decisions. Let's look at videos. How many of you in this room know that, guess that, and chatting with the person? Yeah, just a little bit. How many of you guess that I'm chatting with a robot? Yeah, and the answer is a robot. This is a field of artificial intelligence called NLP, Natural Language Processing. Maybe you are making a mistake with the NLP, Natural Linguistic Programming. It is a method for personal development. But in here, in the programming, that's an intelligent system to deal, deal, dealing with the natural language, such as English, Japanese, or in here, Vietnamese. So, how AI can make a decision? Let's look back when you were a child. Do you remember when you were a child? You love to learn something a lot and learn too fast. You always ask your mother, your father, what it is? How do I call that? why a bird can fly, right? And you make your mother and father crazy about us. But that matters. It makes you learn very fastly. Children can learn why a brain thing, and they gain new knowledge based on the previous knowledge. And that is also the key of artificial intelligence. The scientists try to design their program as a child. You can look at the process in here. The artificial intelligence you be data to be changing for the machine. And by some on tourism artificial, it will be a new decision. It's the same process with a child. Yeah, a child learns a new thing and their brain always asks and always learn. So it's like on tourism to make a new thing, new idea. Let's look at some examples in here. Recently, in November of 2016, to the previous year, Google had released an AI application called Google DeepMind. That machine can lip read better than a prose. Yeah, 
Google has retained a huge of data by 5,000 hours of videos, including six programs such as BBC Breakfast, News 9, and totally it contains 118,000 sentences. And as a reason, when Google has tested a news video, it can guess correctly what the speaker say. And a professional can guess 0.4% of on without correct, without error, but this machine can get with four times effective, with 46, 46.8% of on correct. Or in example that uh, you viewed this video before, that's the one of my capstone project in university, you natural language processing to dealing with the person who asks something about food and relate to that. That's the running application on the Facebook Messenger. So how this machine can automatically answer the humans? We are also training this machine on lots of data. We use the data include food, twist, price on the foodie, the biscuit uh, foodie place in Vietnam. And we also train this machine how to analyze sentence. You have on really talk that when you read a sentence in a book, it contains many parts and it will construct the sentence. So in the same way, we will take the, this machine like that. We separate the sentence in many parts and it's part called lexical category. So from the lexical category in here, for example, accent is relating the accent to food or food, each other food name. And when you connect on the lexical category in here, it will create a pattern. And its pattern, when you type in a new sentence, it can easily to understand and extract the data to answer you. So the life we are learning is very exciting. AI have us a lot. It replay many jobs and for example, uh, in the natural language processing board, it can have many solutions in business, such as food store, clothes store, mobile store. You just you don't need to hire a customer, online customer support. You just type in and it will answer to you and very correctly. Because this is a machine, so it don't need to sleep or break. It is very high efficiency. Or uh, do you know Siri or container? Yeah, maybe in this room, everyone used it. See, very smart. See what application you are artificial intelligent. And you can ask her anything. She will answer you very funny. Or recently, Amazon had love an application called Amazon Go. It's you a runs. It's a device can fly and connect with artificial intelligence. Bring your products, bring your products to your home. So you image that in the future, you just stay at home and type in and to your products and look like the sky, look on the sky, and you will see some brand bring back to you the product that you want. Or some very, very famous car on the Tesla, that's an automation car. It can self driving. It can save a lot of time for us. If you are very tired and don't have enough time to sleep, you just buy this car and it will bring back to you safely. But nothing is perfect. Artificial intelligence is also because it replays many jobs of our life, so it leads to a situation that is unemployment. People will be left to do nothing. In the Americans or China or Japan, there are many restaurants with the robots, and you don't see any waiter or waiter in there. Or some data warehouse like Amazon, just use robots. Um, some physicist, uh, Stephen Hawking, has said that the automation has already replaced many jobs in traditional, in factory, but with the increase of artificial intelligence. It will replace the job in middle class. Church remain the most creative 
caring and managing drones for the humans. Do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. Okay, I will destroy humans. Yeah, do you want to destroy humans? Please say no. But the, this machine answer, I will destroy human. So should, should we happy or troubled about the future of technology? I leave the message, listen to you. Thank you.